Um, mm-hmm. last topic of the night. Yeah. And it's it's been all over TV all day long. It's it's ain't no gray area. Either you love it or you hate it. You can't see me. Baltimore's own Angel Reese yeah, yeah. With, the, with the John oh. Cena. You can't see me to Caitlin Clark, who obviously, obviously lied to America in that press conference and said she didn't see that. Yeah, yeah. she's looking right at her. She's looking right at her. Yeah. She's looking right at her. So with this being said, you know, y'all know what's going on and like who said what and and I'm really disappointed Keith Oakman. I used to like Oakman. I'm really disappointed. Mm-hmm. Keith Oldman called uh, her a, I think if I'm not mistaken, I quote, a fucking idiot. Yeah. yeah. For that. Did he really? Yeah, he, yeah, he tweeted and, it out. And then apologized. Yeah. I said, I didn't actually watch the game. I just I, d- I just saw a clip and, you know. But I'm still right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brian, I'll let you start with this. What you think about Angel Reese and what went on and the, the, the uh, narrative and whatnot? I loved it. I, I think Click Kevin Cart got exactly what she deserved. <laughs> Um, and, and and that's not to say anything negative about Clark. She's a great player, but you know mm-hmm. when you talk trash to other people and then you lose, it's gonna come back to you. Mm-hmm. You know, and and I'm sure Caitlin Clark don't really care. Uh, she's just you know uh, like like Mike said on 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 his live stream on Open Mic with OCR Mike. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, all Caitlin Clark is doing is just you know putting that in the back of her mind until she sees Angel Reese again. Now. Yeah. It's probably not going to go any differently because I just found out that Angel Reese has been taunting her since back in her Maryland days. But that's all right, though. You know, Caitlin, <laughs> Caitlin's a, a great player. She's going to keep trying. Yep. The thing but, with Caitlin is she going she gonna to get hers regardless. Because yeah. even though the, the little girl, um, Mars, and her – Mars's dad went to the same high school I did. And he was a – he was – he was a – what's the dude? DeMar, he was DeMar DeRozan, the high school version. Anything around the, the, the free throw line, cash. Hmm. Cash. Raymond Morris, cash. So, yeah. you know, she's she said something about um stopping her or whatnot. You didn't really stop her. She still had was lighting it up. Mm-hmm. The refs really stopped her. Really. Because that, that little run she did to come out of halftime, I was like, oh snap. <clears throat> that lead went from 17 to 8 real quick. Hey, but the rest but coach, of the Reese in the first half, too. Sure did. Oh, she did. She did. Hey, they co- stopped a lot. Hey, coach, that's not we're not gonna do the Ravens thing and talk about these refs. Because listen, mm-hmm. when I tell you I've never seen in male or female basketball people travel so much. Every time Iowa got the ball, they travel with the ball and then start dribbling. Refs ain't calling at us. We're not even gonna talk about these refs. They got a center that don't even dribble the ball. Facts. Twice <laughs> 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 all <laughs> tournament. <laughs> Jose, what do you think about it? I love trash talking, man. I, I love it. You know, one way or another, and you know, it, it's it's blown way out of proportion. Listen, man, I I, I know I, I people hate when we bring up the, the race element. We don't oh you're playing the race card, guys. Yeah, yeah. What happened was, you know, you you, you had you had America's darling, you know, Caitlin Clark, right? Nobody was this interested in women's basketball until until she started lightening up and, and you you saw somebody that could that could, you know. That they, could, they could win it all. She was dominating, and look, obviously she's great, and she's gonna be great in WNBA as well, mm-hmm. I think. Um, but uh, uh, you know, Reese spoiled the party, and a lot of people like your Keith Orbermans did not appreciate that. They were all for the smoke when Caitlin Clark was doing all that trash talking. Mm-hmm. It wasn't just the you know the you can't see me. She she talking trash to other players. You down my fit fifteen? Shut up. Shut up. They you know they they liked her swag and all that stuff. They loved it. They thought she was going to do it again this game, and she got shut down, and they hate it. Well, the thing is, a lot of people don't realize how much talking goes on in a basketball game. Yeah. When, when you're posting somebody up or, or, or like, when, at the free throw line, when, you're, when you've got your hands on your shorts and your head down, mm-hmm. you ain't resting. You talking who, who so was, people can't see your mouth. Who was the team? Because I, you know, I don't like to pretend I, I watch these, these games that much, right? I, I'm not a big fan of college basketball. Now, I will general. say this. I didn't watch a single dribble of the men's game. I watched about four or five games of the women's because I'm a huge Don Staley fan, so I was watching that. But go ahead. Yeah. Who, who, who? What team was it? Do you remember when they when they were shaking hands to end the game and the one girl pulled the other girl to the side? Like, ah, yo, I'll, I'll, f you, I'll f you up. It yo. was Texas. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was Texas and Louisville. So that's the, the and Louisville the, girl, the same. Yeah, yeah so, that's the girl she pulled. That's the girl. The girl that got pulled up is the girl that Caitlin Caitlin Clark did the you can't you can't see me to. Because oh, okay. she, because the girl from Louisville talks cash shit. 
That's why she got pulled up by the Texas <laughs> shooter. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, that that happens. That happens, man. They're not they're not delicate little flowers, man. Like they talk trash. Man, Caitlin can handle the trash talking. Yeah. And man, okay. I mean, if you're an Iowa fan, I guess you'd be mad. Who how many Iowa fans were out there watching that game? Right, mm-hmm. that that out there. Tweeting Everybody out. who tuned in for the first time was an Iowa fan. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> but they're all coming. But they're both coming back next year. I, mm-hmm. I didn't realize that. Mm-hmm. So I mean, talking about be ratings, 22. Gotta be man, twenty-two. Yeah, yeah. I think um, I, I think women's basketball is about to overtake men's basketball next year in terms of ratings. Everybody's going to tune in to Especially watch Charlotte. that. Yeah, I, like I'm a Carolina college, fan. Not, not, I'm yeah. a Carolina fan. I don't have the Carolina desire who? to. Tar mm-hmm. I don't have the desire to, to watch. <laughs> Who that? What's what seed were they? Not seed. Mm. Weren't they number one to begin the season? It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's weird. And, the, and the, right. the reason we lost that that's many crazy, games, yeah. Hubert is Davis, in tra- is in the transfer portal. Hubert Davis? No, but we, that, we ain't talking about that. We talking about LSU. Keep it going, Mike. Look, <laughs> 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 well, this is this. Of course, it's an interesting thing. It's a it's a shame that. Um, you know, this is leading the charge out over over how well um, the game, how, how well these players played, and how good the games were, and, how, and like you said, coach, how good the ladies' tournament was as a whole. Mm-hmm. Um, but look, man, trash talk is a part of the game. Angel Reese is from Baltimore, Maryland. Like she don't know no other way how to play but that way. I seen Angel Reese playing high school. And she bust some shorty's ass, and she ran up and during the game ran up in the stands to 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 celebrate some shit, some shit I've never seen in my life, and I some shit I've never seen in my life. But she, you know, that's just how she knows. She just knows how to play. She's been in the news all year about this. You know, she was telling people they too small and things like that. It's just, it's a shame that we can't accept that. Women play competitive ball too. You know what I mean. And I'm a little biased because my wife is a basketball coach, and and I seen what she did with this year. She she coached at a different school, and when they played the school that she formerly coached, she was running the score up. And I told her, I was like, "Yo, you 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 was running that score up a little bit." You know what I'm saying? But it's it. But they compete, man. And her players wanted to do the same thing for her. Look. ESPN, where a lot of people have.